cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. Hi guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich and I'm here with a very special guest. I'm here back with Nika Domi. How you doing today, Nika? How's it going? Very good, very good. Oh, it's going really, really well. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm very excited to talk to you again about some cannabis stocks that we are watching for legalization. And after legalization, tomorrow is legalization in Canada for recreational cannabis. And it's big news, it's it's trending news, everyone's talking about it all over the world. Canada is going to be the first G7 country to legalize cannabis recreationally. So how do you think this is going to affect the markets and which stocks are you looking for after legalization going into 2019 and then beyond? Well, let me tell you, it's been like really hot today. <laughs> Everybody is on the go. Everybody's just, the chat rooms are blowing up. I have to say your chat room is blowing up. Yes. So everybody should definitely subscribe because there's a lot of information on the go going on there. I keep checking all day and it's really been helpful. So um, I see a lot of confusion at the same time right now because they're going up, they're going down. So we have a lot of things in our heads, a lot of preconceived ideas about these companies that we already have. And then we look at our portfolio and we go, whoa, wait a sec, what's, hold on a second. What's, I was just gone for an hour. It went from green to red, from red to, red to green. So some of the companies I was watching yesterday that were completely in the red, they moved a little bit today uh, and then most of them were green in the morning and a lot of people took profit and then the red day um, came upon us. So what I think for the future, uh, we really have to be concerned and I think a lot of people are asking the questions now, what are we going to do long term because there's so much of that focus, so much of that buzz on today, 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 but we really have to think about the future, think about what's coming after legalization, after uh, the new year. Um, first of all, I would look at what happened last year. So I would go back a little bit, take that moment and go back on all the charts from the beginning of 2018, the end of 2017, see how these companies have behaved, see who came up, who fell behind, who was making too much buzz about themselves and, and fell behind a little bit. And then some of the quiet ones have risen, uh, after September, especially. So I think that's what I would be doing. Just looking back. A little bit at the information, study the charts. Very good and advice. It, I think very that's, important thing that's is, very good advice. Uh, that's very good advice. That is what I like to do. When I look at a stock, I look back at its one-year chart. Then I look back at right. its five-year chart. I look at its 52-week high. I look at its 52-week low. And I try to determine you know, where it is and if I think it's overvalued, undervalued based on its historical chart. And if I see there's a trend. And typically what we've seen with cannabis stocks is that around this year, over the last three years, there's been a big spike. And mm -hmm. this year has been no different. We're seeing another spike. And I believe this spike will continue. And I believe it will continue on until 2019. At some yeah. point, there will be a correction. And they will start to go based more on real fundamentals. But exactly. which stocks right now are you watching? What are the ones that are on your watch list? I know what's on my watch list. What's on your watch list for 2019? What's on your watch list for legalization day tomorrow and then beyond yeah. going into 2019 and then beyond 2019? I want to know what you're really looking at that you think could be the next 10 bagger. Who do I trust, right? Okay, yeah. so basically I have been looking at Alifia. They have been very impressive. They are quite so far they've been quite predictable actually for the past month or so so I, I like that feeling for me I like the feeling of a little bit of that sureness so I do go into companies that I have been watching for a while and then I can tell their patterns I can see where they're moving how what to expect so Alicia uh, lately has been going between that three dollars and five cents and then today went up to three I think even 80 and then came back so they're kind of in that low three dollar range but I think now because they're having big plans and they have that uplisting to NASDAQ going uh, yes. soon, I think it'll come sooner than 
than we think. I agree. I agree. Uh, that's a good company. Great price. Jump in. It's not too high. It's just good for anyone. Other than that, I actually have been now. Okay, this one I haven't really been into too much lately. I mean, at, up to this point, but I just kind of got my attention on Hexo. Um, I think the fact that they were just so strictly that the Quebec market is very tight. Um, I think I was just kind of leaving them alone because I thought, well, they're not really, you know, showing me a lot of action outside of Quebec. But then again, when we know what Quebec behaves like, they're very loyal to their their companies. And Hexo has been showing a lot of strength lately. And when I looked at their chart uh, from last week, they showed a lot of strength and the, the bands were tightening. So they kind of looked like they're maybe about to now take that next step. So I'm looking at the companies that are taking steps to the blue sky. So I love that. Hey, I love Hexo. I love Hexo. They got to deal with Molson. Yeah. I mean, you, you're talking yeah. about a giant. So, yeah, I love Hexo. So, yes, mm -hmm. I love Alifia. Two very good picks. You know your you know your stuff. What else? What else are you looking at? Show what me more. Else? Give me more. What other you got? What else you got in your bag of tricks? What else you got? What else you looking at? I like your first two. I got, I got my list. I got my list. What I'm else? What else? Keep down. keep them coming. I want to know what else. I like your first two. Give me more. Well, the people at home want to know your winners. Sure. Which one? Africa for sure. I believe in Africa. I think they're just that Afria. kind of old school, good, good old company kind of thing. You know what I mean? They're just. They feel secure to me. I don't know. Hey, it's just my feeling. So I, I'm still betting on Afria. I think that I still hold that they're going to very recent, uh, very quickly go up to 20, 24 bucks for sure. So wow. I'm giving them that. Uh, hopefully they uh, exceed my expectation. Wow. So other than that, I really, um, I really liked Cantrust. They were on Midas Letter today. I really liked the CEO. He was so cute. He was so funny. He was making jokes and he looked quite high <laughs> oh wow um, but he sounded very very professional at the same time so i gotta give him credit um <laughs> oh my <yeah>. goodness <laughs> so that one i like me weed md i've been watching weed md i like the fact that they actually are covering the tax and they're covering the shipping for their customers so i think that's huge because especially with the ontario rules there's going to be just the online sales for now. I think for online sales, that is a huge benefit for the company to say, hey, we're going to cover your tax, we're going to cover your shipping. That's, that's big for me. Oh. I would do it. I would jump on that. From what I know about the Canadian customer, they like getting things for free. They like bonuses. Hey, who doesn't, right? But uh, You like all the best companies. I like all your companies. Hexo, Cantrust. I like all these companies, Alifia. You you like all the best companies. That's good. I like it. I have to throw in one very important thing. I still believe in Namaste. I still do. I really do. So they, I think they're gonna have their 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 wave up for sure. Oh, I think Namaste is very cheap and, and has huge are, upside. Sorry, I hate interrupting, but I have to. Uh, the UK just re, um, legalized uh, the medicinal marijuana, and I know that Namaste. Before all that hype, um, the, the drama happened that kind of hit them uh, with the Citron research dude that we all love so much, right? <laughs> um, the UK market is big and they have a connection to the UK market. I think that's going to help them. Yeah, I think that Namaste is another one to watch. I love that one. What about some more long-term plays? I got uh, XLY, Oxley. Have you Oxley, looked into Oxley? Uh, there was an article today that compared them to Aurora Cannabis. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, essentially, they have very similar as far as their growing potential and some of their partnerships and some of their business models So yeah. and their share structure. So they're very similar to Aurora in a lot of ways. And it's a, it's, it's a holding of mine that I have a lot of. I really believe in the company long term. I think they have huge upside. I think there could be 10x potential there. What do you think about Oxley? I haven't traded Oxley or I haven't invested in them yet uh, in my my experience but i have been watching their chart for about a month now so i their chart looks good it, it has been kind of bouncing in that 120 ish uh, range right and i think that they're just ready to blow up because there's a lot of like i see a lot of experienced investors talk about them so that is a good sign actually i, I like to listen to you experienced guys right so I think that well, I think there's I think there's um, they they went as high as a dollar fifty six today. 
they oh. uh, they were at a dollar like less than a month ago, so they've done a huge run, like fifty percent up. I think a, a lot of those gains were taken back today. I didn't see how it finished, but maybe yep. like a, around a dollar forty three, dollar forty four. So it was up and then it finished down. But I think that's what happened with the whole market today. So there was a pullback, but I really believe it's a company that long term could do really well. I yeah. see there's I personally see five x to ten x potential long term with that company. If you're patient, I think it's a company that could really give you back some nice returns. I really that's do. True. For 2019, I, th I think it's a company that's really high on my list. Yeah, we really have to look at the, the future prospects, right? What are they, where are they going? Uh, what are their revenues? Um, and I mean, there's a lot of new companies that don't have much revenue yet. So we just have to really study them and write things down, guys. I can't stress enough how important it is. It helps to kind of reinforce in your mind what your plan might be because actually when I first started trading to be honest I took a piece of paper and I wrote down five companies that I really liked because I didn't know too many of them I had no idea it was brand new so I wrote down the prices that they're at today and then I used my psychic mind to I made a new column and I wrote down what I think they're gonna be in about a month or two or so so I gave them my own little targets and now when I look back just now I still kept that piece of paper I look back at it and I was pretty much right at, on a lot of them. Wow, so I good for you. Realized, really, you have to, when you write things down, it reinforces things in your mind and it keeps you kind of away from that mind chaos that you might get into just, you know, because there's so much news, there's so much talk. Uh, but that's like your core thing that you should really stick to. Trust your intuition, seriously. Very good. <laughs> now, there's two companies that I'm looking at very closely. Uh, one is MPX. The other yeah. one is TGIF. Both. I have MPX and I have TGIF on my, I did buy them earlier. Very good. So they're both under a dollar. They're both generating revenues. Both companies that are going to be doing a lot of business in America. So mm -hmm. what do you think about those companies as long-term plays for 2019 and beyond? Do you think those are two companies that people should be watching for 2019? I like MPX for sure because, um, why did I like them? Let me see here. They were undervalued for sure. I don't remember why I bought them. I think it was because I think they generated uh, fourteen million in the last quarter in revenue. I think it was the revenues that I heard that, that they had some good revenue. They had like a good uh, solid, and I, they really looked undervalued. They just upgraded to the OTC market. They were speaking in the World Cannabis Congress, so they were one of the speakers, which recently happened. I don't remember where that was. Uh, they own Green Mart, which is their, um, I believe, their dispensary, their stores. So they have a uh, Vegas uh, yes. location. Either is it coming up or is it already going? I don't remember that part. <laughs> they, they've, yeah. got, they've got locations in Vegas and they've got locations yeah. that they're going to be expanding into Canada. And uh, exactly. TGIF is another one that has lo locations in Vegas. And uh, both of those companies are looking to expand all over North America and most likely, I, I assume, internationally. So there's huge potential and we are finding these ones early. But you know what? Yeah. I think what we need to do now is we need to go because we need to go back and we need to find some more winners. I think we've brought enough winners. Is there any other winners that we need to talk about before we leave? This is Nika Domi. You know from Mind uh, Your Wealth, one, guys. I want to mention this. This is very interesting and promising. Uh, a new IPO I saw that came out, YOLO. It's called Weekend Unlimited. So I'm going to be kind of watching them a little bit. They have some interesting, fun stuff. Uh, Jamaica travel, like a week travel thing um, that they're planning to do. Uh, organic farm in BC and Washington. So that sounds pretty good. Uh, so that's a new one that I think just came out today. Other than that, no, I'm just going to stick to my Alethea, Hexo, Probably Organigram too and Afria for now. I'm pretty happy with them. All right. Well, I like all of your picks. I think they're all winners. What do you guys think at home? Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education, entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Go to Nika Domi's channel on YouTube and subscribe. Mind your wealth with Nika Domi. It's true. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy Not Rich true. and Nika. We're collaborating. We're bringing you the winners for 2019. Legalization tomorrow. We're going to be partying. Hope you're partying. Yeah. This is your boy Rich. Party.
Toronto, so you know, if anybody wants to come to the same party as I'm going to, hit me up on my Instagram at Nikadomi is the easy one, and just yeah, check my channel, mind your will. Go and subscribe, smash that like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think about Nika's picks, about my picks. What are your picks? What do you think? Let us know. Comment down below. Share it everywhere. We're out. Peace. See ya. Happy legalization, everybody. Bye. Cannabis stocks and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live.